closely monitored. So for Thibaut Courtois, it's a chance to emphasize that he's still number one keeper after being rested last week. He's one of four changes that Gus Hiddink makes from the defeat at Swansea. Gary Cahill returns in the centre of defence in place of Matt Niaska. Genovi Mikel and Tess Fabregas in their usual roles just ahead of them. Then in midfield, William is back after injury. He replaces Oscar, who's ill. But the headline news is the return of the warrior, Diego Costa, following his three-match suspension. No Premier League manager has made as many changes as Manuel Pellegrini this season, and today he rests four players after their Champions League triumph. Joe Hart in goal as usual. For the fullbacks, Pablo Zabaleta and Alex Kolarov replaced Bakary Sanya and Gael Clichy. In midfield, there are starting places for Yaya Torre and Samir Nasri, and Champions League hero Kevin De Bruyne will lend attacking support to their leading scorer, Sergio Aguero. Begovic, Miazka and Pato drop down from the starting 11 to the Chelsea bench. Likewise, Stania, Clichy and Fernando for City. All runners up in the Premier League. So when the fixtures were released last summer, this game looked as though it could be a potential title decider. And a different turned out to be. Navas down the right-hand side, the Bruyne, just uh, making a run and making an offer for him. And he's got that and pulls it back. Well, the Bruyne shot was blocked and it looked as though City could take the lead early on. Such a beautifully wicked ball for the Bruyne here. This had to be perfect. I just wonder if Courtois should have come there. I think he had to think about coming all the way for it, changed his mind, and he got a really good cover here from Gary Cahill. Managed to get himself from back post to front to make the block really quickly. And he made the pass forward to it as well, almost impossible. And the step there gives Chelsea a wonderful chance to take the lead. And still a chance, and knocked off the line. Well, they've got Upper Mendy to thank for not falling the ball behind here. Well, he could have done the state, he's waiting and the, the keeper's coming there when he could have dealt with it himself. Did he feel he gets himself? Well, if the game carries on like this, we're in for a cracker. The both teams creating goal scoring opportunity in the opening minutes. Here's Aguero and De Bruyne with the early shot. Good luck into the short away. But... Babaleta, Navas, Babaraman making it really difficult. He's given it away here to Diego Costa, who's offside. He won't get it even if it goes in. It's a good of the second attempt. All the fans cheering, but they didn't stop the flag being raised on that far side by assistant Jake Perry. Well, he raised a very cool finish for him from Costa. Uh, a yard and most. Mangala deep is still from Man City, but Costa certainly went to a probably finish him. Between as well, but he's hungry. An extra training, so keen to play today. That's the she just done well here. Went to goal. I'm not sure the hard man got fingerprints for that. I think he did. And look at Sidney Bruno too, to make any kind of chance for himself. Look at this. Have no way to go on the shot. Sid Bruno to get out of his left side and get shot of it. Well, clearly, the official has decided that Hart didn't touch the ball then. Leanne thought it was a turn. So a bit tricky here for the rock to shoot. The left angle doesn't have much to hit, and Joe Hart certainly got his left hand on to that. Terrific feet from the youngster. That's a very good save from Joe Hart. Wow. And he's been just the best. The Bruyne making a quick break down the centre. And it's a lovely ball to pick it out. It's the Bruyne for City. And it's Kurtra to the rescue for Chelsea. Great save from Courtois. Centre back caught way up the pitch. It's a two two back. Just trying to squeeze the Bruyne here. He's quick enough to get a shot away. Really good goalkeeping. Good spread from Courtois. The Bruyne. Nevers. Oh, cheating. The Bruyne is going to meet it. Support hitting the penalty. It is Aguero, and it's a great ball for Nasri, and again Courtois saves. Nevas. Raman. A shot 
by Pedro, who's blocked, and behind him, Torre has cleared. Now to Bruno. He gets it back. He gets the ball from Aguero. And picks him out with a lovely ball. Aguero! And this time, so far, can do nothing about it. And in the battle between the last two champions, it's City who strikes first. Terrific counter attack from, from City, the movement from Aguero is such a If he has to pull away from De Bruyne, De Bruyne gets a little bit lucky to get the ball back here. But watch Aguero's run, get himself as far away from De Bruyne as possible. Keep a nick up as from a question away in, comes in behind him, he readjusts the super finish. Now, Navi had a chance, De Bruyne had a chance, but when it fell to the main man, that may have taken a nip on the way through as well, but terrific effort from Aguero. Gets it out of his right side, plenty on it. Did take a deflection. There he goes to go over, gets it all wrong. That's from that angle for, for a right footer. Five solid in the wall, City. Four of them get up off the ground, so. We've got a lot to do to win the surprisingly have only won one of their last seven home games in the Premier League. And most of the points that they've gained at Central Bridge. Yeah. 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 Um, it should have resulted in something better. Well, the Danza hasn't done yet, it will now. Just to make a chance here because City double up, but he's got a seat to get in behind. Another bit of a mix in here for, for Costa. He might have been lost his cheek, so he might have been better throw himself for that and try to get the head on. And here they come again. And this time a shooting opportunity for the same player off his cheek. But he hits it hard and wide and wide. He did the difficult bit. He managed to get away from Fernandinho. Just here, slips Fernandinho. He's made a yard. See the new bit. That's that. And again, he's on side. Well, that is a risky challenge for Adam Mendy. De Bruyne has done brilliantly here. This is where City is so effective. Nasri. Now that's to his right. The Grano ahead of him. It's a Grano he finds. And inevitably, he finds the net. A classic counter-attack goal. Certainly was the movement of a Grano is terrific because at one point he ran off the side. But he very quickly got himself involved in the move. Got himself back on. Costa, I think, was looking for a penalty there. Once the possession turned over, Aguero makes that out to end run. He's not in the game now, he's offside now. Gets himself oh, very, very tight, just about back on. And what a good finish once he gets in. But he never stops Aguero, he's always readjusting his position. So to uh, perhaps thought he was going near post and he just closes his foot on it to go across him. And a long last set, they have a little bit of breathing space here. Right here, Manchester City, as they seek a third goal. It is too late. De Bruyne, Aguero. Perfect pass from Nasri. And so far, for the unseen time to... To run one back here. Part of full stretch to deny them. Up with one for, for in the morning. Sky Sports 2. Fernandinho goes through. A good finish here. Well, it could have been a penalty. And there could be problems for first one. Now, for the second time this season, Thibaut Courtois is dismissed. He was sent off on the opening weekend against Swansea. Well, he's put off the ground on one or two occasions in the first half, but he thinks he can get there. Gary Keogh thought he could get there as well. Fernandinho leaves him standing. Still to have a fraction of his work. A critical forward run from the holding midfield player. Clearly quick. And I'm sure he's given a, a choice here, but to show the red. You know, first half. It's a battle, 
against Petrovic. It's a hat trick for Sergio Aguero. It's three points for Manchester City. Not sure Petrovic would be surprised if he had two or three. To, to see the flag, he doesn't get the stick. It's an awkward one because the bounce is just in front. Good decision from the line front. And he last gets it back to him. It's a good return ball as well, but the flag goes up and now he moves on to the ball as he gave you. That's right. Yeah, I knew that's attention. It's been clear from the young rocket to this. Second week of the season up at the Etihad. That is some double from Manchester City. Vintage stuff for them today. 